skip ni lah. So kita go to IEM lah. Ok ada apa-apa soalan setakat ni. Ok lah. So kita next kita go to IEM lah. Uh, IEM. So IEM is uh, Institution of Engineers Malaysia lah. Uh, this is the largest professional institution in Malaysia lah in terms of membership lah. So dia it is an institution this institution is a professional learn society lah formed in 1959. Ah ni lama dah dia establish ah. Setahu 2 tahun selepas merdeka ah. Ah so tapi dia tak ada cerita sebagai ni lah dia bukan dia bukan bawah kerajaan ke apa lah. Bukan macam BM ah bawah Minister of Works. So dia independent ah. Ah tapi primary function dia to promote and advance the science and profession of engineering in any discipline and also to facilitate the exchange of information and ideas related to engineering. Okay, yeah. so nanti kita go into detail sikit. Yeah. So, vision dia to be the premier professional organization lah. Pivotal Achieving Vision 2020. Oh, tak boleh pakai dah ni. Ini, ini dah 2021 dah. Dia yeah. kena kena ambil yang baru. Yeah. Okay, so IEM dia akan promote juga sound professional engineering. Uh, practice in support of the socio-economic development. Uh, dia akan share, dia also share service the needs and interests of members lah. Ni kalau jadi member kepada IEM lah and the public. Uh, so IEM to certain extent dia ada certain say jugalah uh, dalam engineering practice lah. Tapi yang by law yang pegang whatever ni is BM lah. Uh, IEM also dia akan contribute lah to nation building lah and shall strive to enhance society's consciousness lah on science of and, and technology ya. Yeah. Okay lah, objektif. Uh, ni macam term of reference. Saya tak go detail sangat lah. Dia boleh buat meeting. Uh, so, dia akan menaikkan tahap dan status lah. Engineering profession. Okay, and then to promote honorable practice. Uh, then to communicate members uh, on the latest uh, professional uh, profession of engineering. And then to do such other things as the institution may be a uh, meeting in incidental. Uh, sorry, ni typo. Uh, T-H-I-N-K. Uh, think. Uh. Alright, so these are the members yang ada lah dalam uh, IEM. So kalau you join IEM, uh, you akan jadi sebagai uh, student member, graduate member lah kalau dah graduate. Eh. Sekarang you pun boleh join uh, as a ni, uh, student member. Even at university, third year, fourth year, you boleh join as a student member. So nanti you once you dah dapat degree semua, dah dapat cert, you uh, upgrade kepada uh, graduate members lah. Uh, then uh, once you graduate members uh, you dah cukup uh, uh, pengalaman semua you nak go for passion engineer you can go to member lah which is under corporate member so there are 6 type of corporate member yang paling rendah members up to honorary fellows lah ok then we have non corporate members lah so semua corporate member ni technically dia adalah professional engineer because anybody who wants to become a member in IEM member as a in IEM membership dia kena jadi dia kena pass uh, dipanggil professional interview lah Uh, which enables you to become a professional engineer lah. Uh, nak vote pun semua bawah corporate member. So, nak corporate member dia boleh datang meeting semua tu je lah. Uh, masuk konsel lah. Tapi tak, li, tak ada kuasa lah. Tak ada kuasa untuk vote lah. Ahli, ahli tidur lah. Kita kira gitu lah. Uh. So, this is the IM membership. Uh, secara puratanya, saya go straight sini lah. Eh. Dia ada lebih 40,000 lah. 40,000 student lah. I think now maybe dah close to 50,000 or more lah. Uh, because this data is uh, 2016 ni data. So, I think it should already exit 50,000 lah. So, dalam IEM, this is the structure. So, when you join uh, as a graduate engineer in uh, IEM, this you can join lah uh, sebagai young engineer section. And for women, for ladies lah, uh, dia ada special punya section which is the women engineer section lah. Uh. Uh, then, ada a lot of technical division lah. Uh. Uh, kalau electrical, you minat electrical lah eh. So, uh, kalau you degree yang tak pernah wujud sebelum ni, you boleh establish division sendirilah IEM. Uh, promote cari 3-4 minggu lah, then establish one one uh, division lah, technical division dalam ni. Okay, so apa IEM sebenarnya, kebaikan IEM eh. So, among the good part of IEM ni is, uh, you dia ada banyak technical visit. So, every every year ke every other month lah. Mungkin bukan sekarang lah. Zaman sebelum COVID, dia ada organize uh, every quarter technical visit lah. Pergi ke power plant, pergi ke water plant, uh, pergi ke mana-mana lah. So, dia for for exchange of uh, technical knowledge lah. Uh, and also ada courses and seminars. Ni memang IEM dia buat every other week. Uh, conferences. Uh, ni yang paling penting ni lah. 
untuk mana-mana kerja ya. Tak kisah you engineer ke bukan engineer, network. Networking is very important eh. Uh, we fellow engineers. So kita nak minta tolong ke apa, senanglah bila kita dah kenal dengan orang ah. Ha. Uh, tapi ethics jangan lupa kena jaga. Kenal-kenal juga ah uh, tapi dalam batasan lah Dalam batasan code of ethics ah. Uh, and of course uh, we have engineers week, uh, ada social activities and those uh, yang nak pursue professional engineer uh, nanti kita akan go through lah root C eh. root C is uh, PI through IEM ataupun professional interview so this is you you go through PI to go for uh, for professional engineer lah uh, and then uh, the career advisor and so on lah so ni contoh dia eh. uh, so adakah you wajib join IEM uh, jawapan dia tak lah you tak wajib join IEM tapi BM you kena wajib eh sebab BM dia akan count you uh, your start of registration tu daripada tarikh hari you dapat certificate graduate engineer katalah you grad hari ni 5 tahun lagi baru you kerja uh, baru you register dia akan kira tahun 0 uh, years 5 tahun tu baru dia kira dia tak kira daripada tahun kosong yang you start kerja tu so that's why very important saya ulang-ulang banyak kali once you grad tolonglah uh, terus register graduate engineer walaupun you tak tahu apa you nak buat dengan set tu nanti you register dulu tu yang penting Okay. Ha, tapi IEM tak perlu lah. Uh, tak wajib lah. Ha, tapi kalau you join, this are the benefits that you will obtain lah. Ha, tapi even for you to go for PI dengan IEM, you tak perlu jadi member. You uh, cuma kena bayar mahal sikit lah. RM300 uh, lah instead of RM200. Okay.